Today is July the 5th, 2023, and I want to show you how to build the most powerful scan that you can use at Market Open. It's the gap and run scan that I addressed in a previous video. Uh, some of you didn't quite get that one, so I decided to make a video on how to make it. So you want to go to your scan tab. And then you want to create a new scan. So you're going to go here, load scan query, and create a new scan. And I want you to call it Gap and Run. So in here, you're going to name it Gap and Run. And then you can, if you put your mouse right here, it'll change for you. You can pull it down. Let's change this to last. And my price range is $1 to $50. And you put in the price range you like to trade. This one here, delete it. And go to, you can delete the next one as well. And go to Add, filter, and click study. And then go down to volume and average volume and leave it on day. And copy the first code beneath the video in the first comment called gap and run. And then come here and click study. Add a filter and study. And then go to custom. Click Think Script Editor, highlight that, right click and paste the first code. Leave it on Day and click OK. And then save your code. I'm not going to save it because I already have one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to create another scan just like we did. You're going to go here, load yeah, scan yeah. query and create another scan right here. I'm just going to pull it up since I already have it created. And you want to call this new scan Gap and Run Watch List. And this is the scan you're going to monitor at Market Open. This is strictly for Market Open until the market dies probably around 10 o'clock, 10.30. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to click Add Filter, Stock, and Add Your Price, which is here. And you're going to go to Add Filter, Study, and Find Average Volume, and leave it on Day. And then you're going to copy the second code beneath the video, and you're going to click here. You're going to click Study, and you're going to click here, and you're going to go to Custom. You're going to click Think Script Editor and you're going to paste that second code here and you're going to click OK. And you should have a scan that looks like this. Of course, the order is a little different on mine. So, depending on what time frame you like to trade, where the code is, you want to come over here and select one minute or five minute or 15 or daily, whichever one you want to trade. And then you're going to come over here where it says scan in and you're going to scan the first scan that we made, which was the gap and run. So this scan is called the gap and run watch list scan. And this is the one you're going to monitor. And then you're going to click scan and it's going to look in that other scan for all of the runners that are pulling back like in the gap the uh, like in the pullback strategy video I created so all of these stocks and let's go over to it so I'm going to go to my gap and run watch list scan let's do it the other way gap and run watch list scan
And these are the stocks that it's pulling up from the gap and run scan. So let's click the first one and see what it's doing. So this is what happens at market open. So we have the gap and run scan running. And then we have the gap and run watch list scan is looking for pullbacks. And here's where it would have fired is at this first arrow and then it shot up. So let's look at another stock here. This one's not so good. I mean, it did eventually, it did gap up and then it pulled back and then it shot up. Not as good as the other one. Of course, this is a penny stock and I don't like trading them. Let's check the third stock. This one gap down, it opened. And then you got a green arrow and it shot up, pulled back and shot up. Let's check another one. So this one pulled back and then it shot up. I probably wouldn't have traded this. You really want the ones that have a lot of volume. And most of the time they're going to look like this here. 10,000, 8,000, and so forth shares traded. They're going to be heavily traded stocks. Let's check this one. This one, it opened. You got a pullback arrow and it shot up. So these are not the stocks from market open. This is, it's probably around 10 o'clock this morning. This is the 10 o'clock stocks. The ones that market open are much stronger because it's more volatile when the market opens. And all you have to do is monitor this gap and run watch list scan, wait for the stocks to pop up. There may not be none right when market opens. And as soon as it finds some stocks to buy, it's going to post them in that watch list scan. That's really all there is to it. This is a very powerful scan. Uh, the codes were pretty difficult to make, yeah, but nice. it works. Give it a try. And let me know in the comments if it worked out for you. Happy trading.